So here we have a quadrilateral. How do I, how do I know this is a quadrilateral? There's four sides. And I need to show that the mid-segments of this quadrilateral form a parallelogram. What's a mid-segment again? So I need to find the midpoint here, the midpoint of this, the midpoint of this, and the midpoint of this. Where would I join them to create a mid-segment? I would connect, let's call this J, K, L, and M. What would I connect to, to draw a mid-segment? Connect J and J and, K. J and K, good, K and L, because if this is a midpoint, a mid-segment is formed when you join midpoints of two sides that are adjacent. Adjacent means that the two sides are next to each other, okay? Adjacent. So we need to prove that these mid-segments form a parallelogram. So there's a, a number of steps we need to do here. So first we want to find the midpoints. I need to know what these coordinates are. Okay, and I didn't put this on a graph, but it's in your textbook. So let's start with J, the midpoint of J. Well, that's in the middle of which line? P and Q. Okay, so use coordinates P and Q to figure out where J is. X1 plus x2, so x1 is negative 7, plus x2 divided by 2, good, and then y1, which is 9, plus y2, which is 11, again, divided by 2. Okay, what's negative 7 plus 9? 2, two <laughs> divided by 2, and 9 plus 11? 20. 20, divided by 2. Let's simplify that. 2 divided by 2? 20 divided by 2. So I know that J is located at 110. And this is going to be important for when we need to figure out if the sides are parallel. Okay, so K is located at 9, 5. Well, the midpoint of L is located at 5, negative 6. And did everyone get M? Yes. Yep. Negative 3, negative, negative, four, negative, negative three. 3, good. And negative 1. Excellent. This shape here, uh, J, K, L, M represents the mid-segments from our original shape, right? Is this still a quadrilateral? Yes. 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 We need to verify, we need to see if this quadrilateral forms a parallelogram. Well, what is a parallelogram? Two sides are equal. Two sides are equal. A parallelogram is when two opposite sides are parallel. So we need to see if J, K is parallel to what? ML. ML. And we need to prove that we need to see if JM is parallel to KL. Well, both, all of these are line segments. They're lines, right? How do you figure out if two lines are parallel? Oh, they're equal. We need to find the slope. So we're going to find the slope of um, JM. Then you need to find the slope of KL. And if they have the same slope, what does that tell you? They're parallel. Good. So let's use a slope formula. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. We'll start with JM. I'm going to call this X1, X2, Y2. So negative 1 minus 10 over negative 3 minus 1. Okay. It doesn't matter what order you do it in as long as I could have called this coordinate x1 and y1, but I just chose x2 and y and y2. Negative 1 take away 10. Negative 11. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Let's turn this into a decimal so that when we're comparing, we can compare as a decimal. So what's a negative divided by a negative is a positive, and what is it? 2.75. 2, which is negative 6, minus y1, which is 5. 5 minus 9. Negative 6 take away 5 is negative 11. 5 minus 9? Negative 4. Well, we know that negative 11 over negative 4 is positive 2.75. So I know for sure that these two sides are parallel. We have to figure out if JK is parallel to ML, so you're going to do the exact same thing. Right, so of JK is equal to negative 5 over 8, which is negative 0.625 as a decimal. What was the slope of ML? 
negative 5 over 8, which is negative 0 0.625. So both slopes of the opposing sides are equal, which means that these two sides are parallel. We discovered earlier that the other two sides that are opposing are also parallel. Therefore, is this quadrilateral a parallelogram? Yes, it is. Yes, this is a parallelogram. Oh, this is what? I reach 100,000. <laughs> <laughs> Made with DoodleCast Pro.